So you probably heard about this next story, but we've got new details on how it could directly affect you. A giant container ship, look how big that is. That's the size of a skyscraper. It has gotten stuck in the Suez Canal. It got stuck after being caught in a wind and sandstorm that caused poor visibility. Efforts to free the ship haven't worked, and now they're saying it could take weeks to move more than 700,000 cubic feet or sand to get it free. So experts are saying it could affect just about anything you see in a store, including leading uh, to another toilet paper shortage. Great. About 12% of global trade moves through that particular canal. It could also affect gas prices, which could go up as more and more ships carrying crude oil are stuck in that traffic jam. Wow. But it's not good. The wind turned it sideways or a, a, a lee if you are a sailor, as I am not. No one up here. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it turned it sideways and it literally have uh, ships backed all the way up and it's going to go crazy with the prices. The traffic jam. Yeah. yeah. There you go, Sam. You were really <laughs> excited about it's that. It's called the traffic so jam. Much. Wow. I actually, strangely, I saw Shots this fired. yesterday. I had to go to a clinic early in the morning. I'm coming back from Brighton, Colorado, and they were they had to move those uh, wind turbines. They break them off propeller by propeller, and they're on those flatbed 18 wheelers. And one was trying to make a hairpin turn on the highway oh, and no. got stuck on the hairpin. And the, I was I, luckily I was not going there, but I mean traffic was backed up. And it, th that image just reminded me because I'm like, how do you get how do you back off the highway with a 25 foot propeller on on an 18 wheeler? How do you back that up and it's like sometimes things happen but I don't know if it's gonna be lead to a toilet paper shortage I, I feel like this is propaganda by the toilet paper industry well no I listen I don't know how much toilet paper is imported from you know this particular region with Africa and India it'd be and weird if you that. did <laughs> however Jeff I think this reminds people to not take everything that they purchase so easily for granted, right? Because everything is imported. Yes, a lot of things are made here in the States, but let me tell you, if there is any sort of delay, and we know this from our candles, we get in shipments of containers. When you say uh, our, please explain. Oh, Byron and Co., my husband and I yes, have candles. We, we try go. and get everything made here in America, but some of our glass, I'll be 100, comes in from China. And if there is a weather delay, if there's any sort of a delay, we can't, Fulfill, um, orders. fulfill our orders. So there's also a lot of small businesses out there, Jeff, that rely on their imports that are not going to be able to fulfill those those orders. Yeah, maybe, you know, if this is the lifeline to the world's economy, maybe throw some bucks at it and open that baby up a They're little trying. bit so no, this doesn't happen again. Yeah, well, it is an artificial canal. So yeah, they, they thought that they had it wide enough, but now they're trying to not only remove all that sand to free this one particular huge vessel, but also to Jeff's point, they're gonna try and prevent this from happening again because it's gonna affect a lot of us, let me tell you. Not mm -hmm. me, I'm stocked up. It's not just toilet paper, Al. Dude. That's all I'm concerned about. <laughs> Clearly, it's been the focus of this story. Okay. Oh, Jeff, it's Don't been you have toilet a bidet? paper. You've been, it's been toilet paper. He talks about bidets constantly, I'm yes. just saying. I, we're not allowed to talk about it, but let me, I could do a half hour infomercial.